now, ladies and gentlemen, we have another, another exciting Raw. Oh, this past week, ladies and gentlemen, it was very interesting. The past couple weeks, especially with a lot of, you know, people trying to cross the T's and dot the I's. One thing's for sure, this past Monday was amazing when we had Randy Orton come in out there and challenge our people's champion, McIntyre. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we knew it was going to all boil down to this. We knew that it was going to end up being the legendary powers colliding. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wake-up call to you, whoever's not paying attention, that the people are in charge. Yes, and Randy Orton coming out there challenging at SummerSlam. Later on, Drew McIntyre accepting. Now this is where it changes, Ziggler. This is where you move aside and you say, it's about. Time. You fought hard, but I think your heart is in the wrong place. There's a few other people out there. I could point direction, Ziggler. It's all about awesomeness in a can. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on, we had Nia Jax doing exactly, you know, I have to say, I have a little soft spot for Nia Jax. You know this, it's in the history books, ladies and gentlemen, and I have to say, the vision is there. But, when it comes to the sharks of the table, you're swimming in a pond with a lot of big fish. Ruthless fish. And one thing's for sure, Shayna Baszler has ruthless in her. You're lucky she didn't swing some of those referees around and tap you out. Yes, because you see, there's a new queen in town and she has a king. One thing's for sure. <sighs> you know, I have to say Nia Jax, she did take that lethal Right. Did she not? She took the lethal right. And I have to say, I think she's got your number. But on, we got Angel Garcia and Andrade earning their number one contender spot for the tag team championships. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited because one thing's for sure, the Street Profits bring the smoke. And I see a little smoke coming from Andrade and Angel Garcia. Gar How do you say his I'm just going to call him Angel. All right. His name is Angel from now on. And you got to say, there is some smoke coming from there. There may be a little bit right now, but I got a feeling in the match at SummerSlam, it's going to be a blowout. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Sasha Banks, WWE Raw Women's title, making her, you know, double the belts. Guys, this is, you know, a cause for celebration for her. It is. It is an accomplishment. But you know something? Nobody's ever really tried to put the Raw and SmackDown titles together to create a universal championship. And we've been seeing a lot of Sasha and her eyes on the SmackDown title. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you see it. I see it. You see it. I see it. We've been seeing it all along. This is all part of the blueprint, isn't it there, Sasha? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say with the people's fan of the WWE and also the people's commission, I have to say, we're in charge. Not you, Sasha. Where, where's your misconception? Right? But the truth shall set you free. And one thing's for sure, when it comes to Sasha, we all know a snake when we see it. Let's get 
get into the Seth Rollins and Murphy. You know what? I think the King of Spades needs to speak to Mr. Murphy. Mr. Murphy. Are you hearing it? Are you hearing the parade? Are you hearing it? No. No, you don't hear the parade? I hear the parade. Of course I hear the parade. I'm going to see the parade. I'm going to be in the parade. Unfortunately for you, your career here is holding out of balance. You're following in footprints that you should not be following in. You were looking for direction and this Messiah came into your vision and you thought that he was your savior. But we all know better than that, don't we? Then? We all know Murphy. Or do we? How about you? Have you been keeping a secret from Seth Rollins? That you haven't been telling him something deep? Do you feel guilty? Do you have to prove yourself so much to this man? And you feel guilt? Hmm. I wonder why that is. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give you a little cookie crumb. What is it between Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy? Gouging people's eyes out, Rey Mysterio, and now going after one of my favorites, Alistair Black, my ace of spades. Mm, big no-no, I have to say, Seth, because to be totally honest, all you did was open up the club. I have a jack of spades. Oh, you didn't know, Seth? You didn't know? Well, just, um, you know, jack of all trades is coming to play. All it takes is a snap of a finger. 